All right, I'll start off with asking you, Stuart, what are you going to do now? You're going on this big tour. It sounds awfully exciting, very invigorating, and also very educational. What are you going to be seeing? What activities are you going to be participating in? And will you get some spare time to see other things other than just hanging around the gloomy concert hall, so to speak? Yes, well, um, we're leaving on Friday, this Friday, and on the 5th of July, and we're flying overseas, firstly to, to London, where we'll be staying for three days, and we'll be touring around London, going to King's College, which is one of the most, fi uh, about the finest chapel in the world, and we'll be attending services in St. Paul's Cathedral, and also Westminster Abbey, and we're, we're looking forward to going to Madame Toussaint's and to the House of Parliament on the Thames. And then we'll be flying over to Hanover, We'll be singing at the Hanover Boys Choir. And after that, we'll be going down to the Rhine and we'll have a, we'll have a Rhine cruise past the Lorelei to Frankfurt. We'll be flying off to Zurich, Switzerland, and we'll be staying there for about two days, just touring basically around the area, but we won't be singing there. And then we're off to Northern Italy. We'll be staying in most, one of the most beautiful surroundings in the Alps. It's mm. nearby a lake. Ah, That's called Lecco. It's very small though. It's almost not charted on the maps. Anyway, then we'll be going off to Salzburg, the city of Mozart. And last year we'll be going to Vienna. We'll be singing in the Vienna woods. Sure, oh, that sounds wonderful. You're very lucky. Now, to what extent did your parents contribute towards this? Is it wholly funded by the school itself, or are the parents also contributing? <coughs> How did you raise funds for this, in other words? Um, our first aspect was we set up a raffle competition, which, which has been countrywide, which took off very well. Mm -hmm. And our parents also had to contribute towards the fundraising. Oh, well, it sounds like good fun. How long are you going for? We'll be going over for 18 days. Shoo, fun, eh? I hope you don't get into mischief. Well, I suppose that's part of the fun. <laughs> Speaking of mischief, uh, a lot of people view the Drakensberg Boys Choir with a bit of a slant. They think that most of the chaps that happen to join are rather feet and effeminate, but I understand that there are lots of other things that you guys have to do that are much more, how should I put it? I won't say masculine, but much more boyish in a sense. Oh, and yes. I'm, we do have sport every day for two hours. And um, we, during the holidays in that week, we um, play in the river and go down rapids with the tubes from the school. And that sounds like great, great fun. fun. Yeah. I mean, going to school in a place like Johannesburg, for instance, mm -hmm. merely involves commuting to and commuting back, having some, you know, then <laughs> getting to your homework type of thing. So you find it's very enjoyable in the middle of nowhere, as some people would have it. Oh, yes. We have, we can go mountain climbing as well, which is pretty nice as well. Well, that's great fun. And uh, do you think it's difficult to become a Drakensberg Boys Choir member? No, it's not that difficult. All you have to have is a fair voice and good voice. And, of course, a certain amount of uh, intellectual capacity because to be able to understand the music and also to be able yes. to do your homework and all the sporting activities takes yeah. quite a bit of effort. Stuart, Chris and Brian, you lucky chaps. Keep the flag flying. I hope it's going to be a very enjoyable and very profitable trip for you all. Thanks very Enjoy much. Enjoy it. Thanks very much. Well, from the Drakensberg Boys Choir, to the South African Disco Dancing Championship. A super production of Tom Sawyer, which is on at the Intimate Theatre until the 20th of July. It looks great. Almost time to top and tail the show. Suffice for me to say that if you'd like to do auditions for the Drakensberg Boys Choir, they're occurring tomorrow and on Wednesday. The number to remember is 803-2346. 803-2346. Playing out with the Drakensberg Boys Choir and an excerpt from that famous Rodgers and Hammerstein musical, Oklahoma. And that's it from us, isn't it? Yeah, that's us. Right. Good Time luck, boys. Enjoy your tour. All the best. And we'll see you. Enjoy it, eh? Cheers. 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 It ain't too early and it ain't too late. Starting as a father with a brand new wife. Soon be living in a brand new state. Brand new state. Come and teach me. Yeah. I am my 
Hallo. Op die plek voor een troostelijke gesing het. Vier personeel hier en 36 leerlingen van die internationale bekende uh, Drakensberg Seenskoor het so pas na Zuid-Afrika teruggekeer na een baie succesvolle toer door Europa. Ivan, wat er lande het jullie allemaal besoek? Wel, Pieter, ons was eerst was ons Engeland toe, daarna was ons oor Duitsland toe en toe Italië toe. Ons het een nacht in Zwitserland oor nacht en toe Oostenrijk toe, waarna ons daarna terug is Zuid-Afrika toe. Arne, wat een land was die lekkerste geweest? Wel, Oostenrijk was baie aangenaam, want ons het een klein dorpje leeg geblij, waar ons ons af baie geniet het in die sneeuw. En uh, die lekkerste optreden, waar was dit? Ach, ek denk dat was een leeg, want gewoon in die klein dorpjes kreeg die meeste mense in die, in die lekkerste gehoor. Hmm. Was daar van die specifieke liekies, uh, Iwan, wat hulle baie van gehou het? Ja, definitief. Hulle het baie van die zwart muziek gehou. Hmm. Omdat het vreemd is vir hulle, hulle ken nie so iets nie, het hulle baie daarvan gehou. En ons het nog vreemde instrumenten ook bij gehad. Wat oorspronkelijk uit Afrika uitkom en dit die mens net baie geïnteresseerd. Arne, so as mens op school is en mens is so jong, moet ons om seker tyd wees vir ontspanning ook. Was daar om so tykie gewees al vir? Ja, wel, ons het in leeg het ons opgegaan met een kabelkarkie na die sneeuw toe, want ons self die dag baie geniet het. Hmm. Wat jy ja. al so op die berge doen? Wel, ons het rondgeski en so in die, in die sneeuw gespeel, bykie, jy weet, rondge, rondgegooi en so, het is baie lekker. Uh, kom ons gesê ons bykie oor die mense, hoe het hulle julle ontvang in die algemeen? Het is baie goeie, goeie ontvangst wees. En uh, die enigste ding wat bykie probleem met ons was, is die taal. Partij mense kan die taal praat, maar as jy nie recht kom, nou, hoe het jy maar probleem? Wat doen julle dan? Ach, as, as jy net vir hulle gaan sê, jy weet, as jy bykie vingertaal praat, sê dier mekaar, dan sê <laughs> Wat zou jy uitzonder van so toer, uh, Rijn? Ach, wel, ek weet nie, seker maar die stadstoer, vooral in Londen, want het is een baie interessante stad geweest. Hmm. Dat was baie interessante monumente en kerke geweest vooral. Het jylle ander kore ook ontmoet daar? Om saam met ander opgetreden um, dan? Ja, ons het nie saam met, ons het met een koor saam opgetreden. Hmm. En, um, dit, maar hulle was net een baie klein, kleiner koor as wat ons was. Dit was in Amelin.